You can reach out to me, my numbers are there. They will be able to assist you in getting a good shop. Okay, I've seen a, you know cases where people you know rush to get shop. After getting shop, only to be told that somebody you know there is one or two you know people to go in that area. So the first thing first in opening the patent medicine uh, business is to locate the association in that area now get to know their chairman or their secretary then they will be able to guide you they may link you up with a, a reputable agent that will help you to look for a better place okay that is devoid that will be devoid of problem in future you know some people you know some people don't open during the day maybe because they go to work or or something like that so they'll be able to tell you i oh, know we have susu member there you cannot open in that place so that's the first thing, okay. Okay, after that, then they will assist you. You can register with the association, then they will now help you how to get the form from PCN. You know, somebody said if you don't know somebody in heaven, you cannot go to heaven. That is the truth, okay. If you don't know anybody, you know, you cannot just walk into PCN without having any idea without knowing anything about this and you have, i want to open this thing you have not even gotten a shop you don't even know the specification you don't know anything about uh patent medicine vending or whatever so these people we
If you are not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do. Then, if you if you think there is anything we need to add, please uh, use the comment section, you know, to let us know. Not only that, watch the video, share it, like it. This is uh, pencil and eraser channel, also known as Beshama Epreneur, and my name is Lafusi Alex Kolawole. In your planning, you have to factor in things that will help you to grow. Okay, for instance, if you are to put drugs in place and you are to buy generator, okay, which which you should come first. Now, if you open a shop and people come, you want to buy paracetamol, you want to buy Novagin, you want to buy uh, uh, ACT, you said they are not available. You know, after a while, people will lose interest in coming to your place. Okay, then you have generator there, but the drugs or the products that are important, you don't have them okay so the first thing you do is to put things that will enhance your growth that will enhance the business in place first another thing you need to do when you when you want to put first thing is first is to drop the idea of professionalism okay you want everything to set before you start no no you may not have to wait for that you know except like i said earlier i said you have the means you know to put everything in place but for, you know, cottage businesses, people that want to, the small business people that want to start, you know, somewhere, you just have to start. You don't have to wait till you put everything in place. This is working, fridge is there, this is there, that is there. No, you can start gradually. Grad in this uh, slang I used to say that eat your frog first. Frog, eating your frog means doing those things that you think are difficult you know at times we, we, we get complacent when we start business things that are supposed to be there you, you know things that you fear the most for instance the idea of getting your license you know some people have been in business for years and they don't have any license to show especially in a retail pharmacy in a pharmaceutical practice and business medicine vending they are afraid but this is one of the area what I call your frog. Eat it first. Eat your frog. Okay? Don't be afraid. Go out. Some people said, Oh, we have we have had story of people that have been trying for five, six years. Have you tried? Go there first. Go and collect the form and do the exam. Don't eat the frog. Do those things that you think are difficult. Do them first. Put them. Okay, apart from uh, getting shop and everything, put them first. Then you can build on on them. Thank you very much for watching this. Thank you for always coming back.